right, we are going to cover um, unit analysis in one single video, so this is more than likely going to take a little longer than five minutes, but no more than 15, hopefully. So we are going to do the following. We are going to write a unit um, as a fraction. So here I have 27, and I have this as inches. And so I'm going to write that as 27 inches to one here. And then I am going to say, okay, I need to get over here and I need to get this as feet. So in order to get it as feet, I'm going to have to have a feet multiplying up here, but I'm going to have to get rid of inches down here, right? There's canceling inches here, canceling with the inches here. And then what I need to do is I need to find out the conversion between feet and inches. So one foot is equal to 12 inches. And from there, that's how I do my conversion. And so now I'm just simply going to do my canceling. So I have um, the 27 and the 12. Do I have anything in common? Well, I do indeed have some common factors there. I have a common factor of three. So three comes out of there and leaves a four, and three comes out of here and leaves a nine. And now there's nothing left. So four will go into nine um, two times with one left over. And so this is two and a quarter feet. And that's what that conversion would look like. So two and a quarter as a fraction or two and a quarter as a decimal, 2.25 feet. And that's how we do the unit conversions um, using this fraction. And this is basically a ratio kind of idea. And the and again, the idea here is to get the units that we have to cancel to produce the units that we want. So let's try it again. We're going to convert 172 inches to yards. So I'm going to write it down as 172 inches and then over 1. And then I have, but um, getting over here, I'm going to want to get to yards. Now the only problem this time around is that I don't have um, an inch to yard conversion that I know off the top of my head. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to first of all go from inches to feet and then I'm going to do a second conversion where I'm going to get rid of the feet and I'm going to go to yards because those are the conversions that I actually know. So I have feet and inches here. I have one feet, uh, one foot is equal to 12 inches and then I know that one yard is equal to three feet and now I can see my conversions and I can go through and I can do the canceling so I'm gonna see um, first of all uh, 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 is 10 so that's not divisible by uh, 3 so uh, let's see is it divisible by 4 let's see 4 will go into 7 one time yes it's divisible by 4 so I'm gonna take a 4 out of here which will leave a 3 and I'm gonna take a 4 out of here and 4 will go into 17 four times with one left over and 4 will go into 12 three times and so now I have essentially 43 over 3 times 3 which is 9 and so I'll go ahead and I'll divide that out so uh, 9 will go into 43 four times and that makes 36 right so 43 minus 36 um, we have 7 left over and so that would be 40 and 7 ninths yards. Now I personally would leave it like that because 7 ninths is a repeating non-terminating decimal of 0.7777777 so on and so forth. So it doesn't make any sense, to me anyway, to write it like that as a decimal. So I prefer just to use it as the fraction 4 and 7 ninths yards. All right, now moving on to our next example, converting 90 miles per hour to miles per minute. So what we see here is a little more complicated because we have 90 miles and we have our unit rate, which remember those are to one hour. So this is what that looks like. Now we don't want to convert the miles, we want to convert the minutes. So I want to get rid of the hours, which means I have to have hours up here, right? and then I have to have minutes down here. And the problem is that I might not know how many minutes are in an hour. So I could do this as in terms of um, 
minutes to something else and then to something else if I needed to. But I do know this one. I know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And therefore, I'm going to see my new units come out here as miles to minutes. And now I can do this conversion. So I have the hours uh, canceling here, and then one of those cancels with one of those. A three will come out of there, and a three will come out of there. So this is a 1.5 miles per minute, right? Because this is three halves. And it really is much more common for us to see a unit rate like this, remember, given as a whole number in miles per minute. So 1.5 miles per minute. And that being our, um, our example there. Now the last one that we can't see down here, that if I scroll up, what you see is convert 90 miles per hour to feet per second. So in this particular instance, I have a conversion two different ways. So I'm doing the 90 miles per one hour, right? Because that's what that 90 miles per hour actually means. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the miles to become feet. So I'm going to cancel the miles. So I want miles down here and I want that to have feet up here in the numerator. So I have to know the conversion that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And you'll see that little note down here. You'll see that note here. And then the second thing I want to deal with is this hour, right? I want the hours to go away and I want to get to seconds, but I might not know how many seconds are in an hour. So I might want to go to this conversion here, minutes, and then again, to get rid of the minutes here and then to have the seconds come down here. So it may need to be a two-piece conversion to get from hours to seconds. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now, if you already knew that there were 3,600 minute uh, seconds in one hour, then you could have used that directly. But if you didn't, this is how you could get there. So now, once we end up doing this conversion, Version, what we're going to end up with is right the hours here canceling with the hours there, the um, miles here canceling with the miles there, and the minutes there canceling with the minutes there. And so we end up with feet per second, and that's exactly the rate that we wanted it to be feet per second. And we can take a look at the divisions here. 10 comes out of there and out of there, and a 10 will come out of there and out of there. A 3 will come out of here, leaving a 2, and a 3 will come out of there, leaving a 3. And then a 3 will come out of there, leaving a 2, and a 3 will come out of there, leaving a 1. And this is divisible by 4, so this is actually 528 divided by 4. And 4 will divide into here, I know, because 28 is divisible by 4, right? So 4 will go into 5 one time, and 1 left over, 4 will go into 12 three times, and 4 will go into 8 two times. And so 132 feet per second is my um, new rate there. So these are the way we can do these unit analysis conversions, and we treat them like fractions where we're canceling on the units. So hopefully you have um, seen this concept before and it's not totally new to you. Now the next thing that um, you might want to do is the your turn here for section 12.2 so that you can get these problems down. Let me see if there are any more down here for us. Um, looks like there are. And so those are two examples there. And then let's see if there are possibly any more down here at the bottom. Yep, there's another one there. And then there's some unit analysis there. So there's on pages um, 9, 8, and 9, it looks like, the, of the chapter 12 notes. You should be able to find a couple of examples there. So you should do those and then come back and watch my next video on how those all are done.